What's up, YouTube? This is your man, Big B Production 100. I have an awesome video for you guys tonight. Now, I can't count exactly how many times I have been asked this question. And that is, Big B, how do you record your iPhone or your iPad on your Mac? Well, in the past, I used to use this application called Air Server that costs $14. But now, inside OS 10 Yosemite, Apple has built this feature right into your Mac. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to start by taking my iPhone, which is a 6 Plus, and just connect it to my Mac. Now, like I said, back in the past, I used an application called Air Server. And they also have another application that you can use called Reflector. But I'm going to show you guys how you can do this the free way. Because, I mean, let's be honest here. We all want to save money at the end of the day, right? That's what it's all about, saving that money in the bank. Okay, now that I have my iPhone now connected to my Mac here, you'll notice that iTunes may pop up. If so, that's okay. Don't worry about it. We're just going to close down iTunes and let that sit down below in the dock. Now what you want to do is you want to open up your application called QuickTime. Once you have QuickTime open, you want to come up to where it says File. If you come down below, you'll see where it says New Movie Recording. Choose New Movie Recording like so. Once you have New Movie Recording open, you just want to come down to where you have this little arrow here next to your red dot. Select arrow like so, and right here where it says Camera, it shall say your name and your iPhone. Select it, and then like so, it will take a second. If your iPhone is locked, just unlock it like so by placing your thumb on your iPhone to unlock it and let it scan your finger. And you will then be able to use your iPhone on your Mac to make YouTube tutorials or how-to videos, or if you're a teacher, you can, you know, now use your iPhone on your display in your classroom for your kids. So like I said, with the application I used to use, Reflector and Air Server, they're great applications, don't get me wrong, but when you use something over Wi-Fi, let's just say in your home, if you have any other appliances in your home, such as a microwave or refrigerator or something like that, it can cause frequency waves in the air that may interfere with what you're trying to do. So the reason why I love to do it this way is because you're doing it straight hardwired straight to your Mac by using your cable that came with your iPhone. So it's a smooth feed. And as you see here, I can open up applications. Let me see. I'm just going to open up some applications. So if you wanted to do like a cool voice over here for a game review, you can do it. And I'm just going to play this game real quick. And I mean, if you look here, it's pretty smooth. Well, I just died. So I'm going to close that down. Let's open up another application calculator. Type some numbers here. And as I type, you see that it's a real smooth feed and it's very quick. And as you see, guys, with me being straight hard white here to my Mac with my USB cable from my iPhone 6 Plus, it's a real smooth feed and it's really fast. So I hope this video was very informative for a lot of you females and guys out there that was trying to figure out how do you stream your iPhone to your Mac? Well... You don't have to stream anymore. You can just use your USB cable. This is your man, Big B Production 100. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. If you guys enjoyed this short video, which I hope you did, holla at you.